Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 in HPM, in which we're going to play as the Netherlands. Now, as you see on screen, I had a little community poll here that asked whether we should play as Austria, Sardinia, or the mystery option, and I'll be honest here, I didn't know what the mystery option was going to be until a few days afterwards, so I figured, you know what, either Belgium or the Netherlands, and I think for now, we'll try to do the, the Netherlands, and... Uh, I think we'll try. We'll try our best and try to go to war with Belgium and basically basically get our cores back. But first, we're at war with Ake, in which we must humiliate them. Even though we already have divisions down here, of course, in Dutch Java. We love Java. And I hope we do very, very well down here. Let's see. And let us let time go on just a little bit. And we're not making... We're making some money. Oh, Prussia. Now, Prussia will probably be very useful in going to war with those guys. Can we... Yes. Yes, we love the UK. We'd love these guys, too. I wonder if we can go to war with these guys immediately and call in our allies. Restore order? Would that be possible? You know what? Oh, no. What happened there? Oh, the UK and the Germans, the Prussians, wanted to assist us. I love it! Also, also, uh, let's see. It's always good. Okay, so for Victoria, too. It's in incredibly important that you make sure you use and understand your generals because I'm not actually sure this at all on this channel yet but you can look at all the different generals you have and how much XP or prestige you're going to get and it's actually it's really cool because you can see this in like what was it the Ro old Rome game Paradox made years and decades ago maybe half one and a half decades but like you see the personality you see the backgrounds so like stout and colonial which hurts your defense mediocre which is obviously not very good we've got old school we've got open-minded powerful friends Arrogant, old school, and bigoted. I love being bigoted and powerful friends. Cool. So hopefully we can do pretty well. Of course we gotta kill off the okay, people, like ISP likes to say, but I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. Siak is with us as well. Uh, I think they, were, they might be in the war. I can't really tell. But let's let's hope we do well. All right, head on in and do your best to defend. If they attack us, it is what it is. Uh, Prussia, can you help us out, please? Prussia, UK, please. I don't have no. I don't know how big their navy. Oh, oh, were we attacking someone there? Sibogalaga? Huh. Well, that's not good. I'm. I'm much more worried about uh, the Netherlands. So, uh, people want to get. Oh, okay. They handle all negotiations. That might not be a good thing. Oh, hey, look at that. That's pretty nice. Uh, wow. Well, uh, do they? Mobi they might have mobilized. I just want to restore order, man. I just want to restore order. That's the most important thing, at least for me right now. Let's see, laissez fair, interventionism. But you know what? I, I've missed playing Vicky 2. Vicky 2 is so much fun. I love the Prussians. I just hope they don't beat us up later on. Uh, oh, we could help take him out, but... Mm, oh, come on, man. All right, Belgium. Sorry, Taki Senpai. Sorry, man. But Belgium is a failed state. <laughs> now that's pretty nice. Go and help him out. And we go help him out by killing them all off. Denmark, would you like an alliance? No, we're kind of okay. We, we want to make sure we want to keep increasing relations with... Mm, call ally? No. We love the Prussians. We love the British. No, we don't need the two either. Uh, we're, and we're not even a great power yet, so it's, it is what it is. Hey, we actually lost more than what we got in attacking, but that's all right. Go to Brussels. Belgium must never exist. Hopefully. Cool. I pressed F to do that, but also please let me know in the comments if the audio is too loud. I don't think it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting more with audio, so just a little bit more. Oh yeah, I should really pay attention to this a lot more. I really should. Man, sieging this place down really kind of sucks. Uh, can I have your division? Yeah, where, 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 are, where are you guys? Uh, we got 6,000 6, guys right here, which is pretty nice. I definitely don't want to attack into the mountains, but we'll see. Oh, you guys are moving up there. Uh, that's fine with me, actually. And I'll go state capitalism because we can. I actually like to state capitalism the most. You know what? Prussia, you might have to help us out with that. But let's just focus on this part first. That's most important. Prussia's doing just great. I love it. Actually, they're pretty much all dead. And we made another division. Brigade. Whatever we call them. Uh, you're not looking great. So you guys go right there. I want to wait and see where these guys go. Oh! Ah, uh, that is what we started off with. We literally started the game off doing that, so that's not bad. 
Alright, honestly, with you guys, just combine you guys. I know supply here is pretty, honestly, pretty darn bad. Regulars, uh, no. No, I think we're okay. But you know what I love about the Netherlands and being in Java? Uh, with the military, you come over here, build an army. You can conscript minorities to be in your army. I love that so much. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. That's just so much fun. I don't know why. I just, I like, I like it. Uh, let's grab some artillery. Let's grab some more artillery. Uh, okay, three artillery. Oh, actually, yeah. Since it's all, pretty much all uh, the stuff of army, so that's good. I don't know if we need any more of that, but we'll try to make a pretty good balanced force here. We have some divisions over there, too. In the meantime, though, let's just finish up Belgium. I really wonder if we can restore order here. Restore control. If we have to give, like, Limborg to Prussia or something like that, I don't really care. Oh, and apparently I clicked on elections by accident, so. <clears throat> What's costing us the most? Military's... No wonder we didn't do that well with the military. <laughs> we don't, we're not spending anything on the military. Ah, love it. Guys, can you help us out in Brussels, please? Okay, they're leaving us. Bye, guys. It's been fun. Yeah, the UK didn't help out at all. That's really disappointing. I love the Germans, though. Thank you, Prussians. Thank you so much. But if we get all of Belgium, even Luxembourg, too, which would be so nice. All right, there's that. And and we're doing army professionalism just in case, because... Oh, we got him. Oh, we got it. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Oh, uh, uh, annex Belgium. Oh, the, the Prussians did it for us. Wow, look at that. You know what? You guys got to leave a little like for that or something. I'm, I, just, oh. Uh, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, my goodness. That's what I always wanted. A united low countries. It's so good. And with that, we actually finally have some industry, which... Oh, uh, Valonia, we have... Oh, we have a lot of workers. You know, just... We don't have a lot of money. Let's go and do that, though. And... Cool. And we'll see where we're going to end up, because I want to make sure that we can take out all of Southeast Asia, or at least as much as possible. Maybe get into this part of Southeast Asia and the island, so... And before we fade and fade out, let's see, we can claim Artois, a part of low countries. We need to be a great power. We need to be absolute monarchy or fascist dictatorship. Get infamy, Artois, and relations with France changes. And Javanese Sultanate, we need nationalism, imperialism. The short declaration, have nationalism and imperialism. Very nice. And we have Dutch Wallonia. Look at that. We need more national imperialism. Oh, we just changed his name. Awesome. Embrace, embrace the Flemish. I don't know what the Flemish is. Seems very weird. And we'll look at the cultures as well it's very soon. Uh, here we need state and government, central bank, money, built printing, railroad, and Amsterdam. You get more life writing, which is very nice. The freedom of religion. We give people freedom of religion here. Cool. But those are the things. And I want to show you culture of us, the Netherlands, before we decide to take out some other people in probably Asia. I think I really want to beat up. Some Asians? Can I say that? I don't think I can say that. Anyways, Dutch, not too bad. That's it. But I'll see you in just a little bit. The Padri War, also called the Minangkabau War, was fought between 1803 until 1837 in West Sumatra, Indonesia, between the so-called Padres, Muslim clerics of Sumatra, who inspired by Wahhabism, and after returning from Hajj, wanted to impose Sharia in Minangkabau country in West Sumatra, Indonesia, and the Minangkabau nobility and traditional chiefs. The latter asked for the help of the Dutch, who intervened from 1821 and helped the nobility defeat the Padre faction. The Masang Treaty is now being signed, and with the victory, the Dutch government has tightened their hold on West Sumatra. Glory to the Dutch! We lose some prestige, but we get uh, Pan Deng and Gunung Itol Itoli for a okay. Cool! That's very nice! And. Oh, we got this one. Look at this. I love Dutch Siak. All right, everyone, so here we are in the streets of Johor, and we shall take out Johor proper, even though they're allied with Akka and Parak. Um, where's Parak? Parak! Oh, they're up there. Or somewhere here. Oh, that's Paraki. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Hopefully we can win. And we are doing now positivism, a positivism, and we just finished up army professionalism as well, so it's nice not having... Any infamy yet. We're gonna have a lot of infamy very soon. Establish protectorate. We can call our allies in. Actually, everyone will accept. Man, yeah, why not? Why not? Cool. And we have Dominicu de Arens. He's good on attack. I like that. Prussia and the UK both have agreed to join us. Very nice, very nice. And we killed them all off. We lost 69 guys. Nice. Ascension to Queen Victoria. Very, very cool. And hopefully we can. Oh, oh, also, also, one other very cool thing that we have here. We have slavery! 
Apparently, we have the Dutch love their slaves. So, actually, we started off with three press, but I already went down to uh, sensor press to get m the penalty to literacy impact. So, we got rid of that. And I think I might just go free press so we get some more literacy impact, immigration, political awareness. I think that'd be good to get. So, hopefully, this war won't last too long. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back to war with these guys. Oh, that's alright. Hopefully, we'll do well here. And I'll go up there too, as well. And Barak. Actually. How much? Oh, mm, look at that. Attacking into mountains is not a good idea. Uh, when are they going to be there? The third? The second? The fifth? Oh, that's not bad. These are still hills, so fighting in there. Eh, the defense is not really that much better. We might be able to take them out, maybe? Are you good on attack? No, you are actually not good on attack. Um, who's good on attack? Minus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Uh, he's arrogant and old school. That's fine, whatever. We don't have a lot of uh, prestige either, as you saw. Ah, the natives go bye-bye. Goodbye, natives. Man, we're going to need a lot more population. Nice! Did they all... Where'd they go? Did they die? Um... If we want to establish protector... Yeah, 15. I'd rather take my chances and save scum as much as possible. So... We'll see what happens. Industry's not bad, though. Look at, look at our production. I like it. This is close, but whatever. Polonia? Oh, man. Oh! Oh, we want to get some. Um... Oh, we got it! And we got that... I really just wanted that tropical wood. That's what I really, really wanted, so... Oh, there you go. Mm, you guys can stay there. That's fine for, with me. Oh. You're already blockading it. Come on down here and blockade this area. And the British are going to teach them a lesson. Very nice. I'd rather just wipe peace out at this point. It is already 1838, which is fine, but still. Do you want to wipe peace now? Uh, let's see. You guys, Padak. No, war goal? Nothing free here. Oh, reparations would be nice. Uh, ooh, reparations. Must be 25% of tax income for the next five years. 1.2 infamy. Ooh, mm. They probably don't make that much money there in Padak. And they don't have a lot of population, like 40,000. Uh, they do have precious metals, though. Eh, I think we'll be okay. What is this? Oldenburg? Nah, we're, we're kind of okay for now. Cool. And maybe I'll show you the newspaper from time to time. We'll see. The Prussians arrived. Look! They came all the way down here. But I think up next, we're just going to keep taking out some more nations. Even though it takes 500 days to establish protectorates all over the place here, which really does kind of suck. Oh, we already pieced out with Parak. Nice. Okay, please. We already killed off, I think, all of your armies. Unless they went somewhere else, which I don't think they did. Hopefully we can integrate these guys sometime, but we'll see what happens. Good. Very nice. We're a great power. Look at that. We already kicked out Spain. We're a great power. I love it. And we have Prussia as an ally still, and the UK. It just, I love it. Even though we're going to continually increase our relations with the French. Because, well, as much as I love being strong and powerful, we're not that strong and powerful just yet. Ooh, actually, you need some artillery. That'd be very, very good. Malayan artillery. Thank you. Thank you. And we should be at peace very, very soon. Anything else here really interesting? No, not really. Oh, Mexi Mexico. Mexico. Um, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Mexico, why not? Also, with our... It's because we're so small, we're only 8th great part of the world, which is actually really nice. Uh, let's see. Actually, I was trying to improve bureaucrats down here as well. Just so that there is quite a few Dutch. Not a ton, but there's some Dutch people down here. So, I think we can probably get this up to max out, and then focus a lot more on clergy, because we need a lot more education and stuff here. But, it looks like we've pieced out, and we've done very, very well. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not really good then. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that was a mistake. Hmm, well, at least we know from here on out, we're not going to call in the Brits until we go to war with them at the end of the campaign. Alright everyone, so now we can go to war with Ku Tai, and hopefully we can do pretty darn well. Uh, let's see, go to war, yes, yes, it looks like the French want to do a couple of things there, establish protector, that'd be very, very nice. Also, off screen, we've already gone ahead and we got free press, very nice. But, we up next we're going to do slavery and do freedom of the womb, because people really want that. But I've already gone ahead and gone down from illegal trade unions to non-socialist allowed, so that'd be pretty nice for us. We already went to war. And do they have any allies? Of course not. Why would they? Why would they? Because I want to take out these guys. Uh, let's see. I didn't even know what they had. We'll just take them all out then. Cool. 
And we're doing experimental railroads because we finished up. Uh, positivism. Actually, idealism would be pretty good as well. Sweden? Uh, off screen, also, I've been trying to. What is it? Norway. I've been. I got Norway in our sphere. Maybe we should get someone else in our sphere as well. Let's take a look. Let's see. Great power stuff. Uh, we are maxed out on Norway. Let's see. Anyone else we want to do? Yeah, I mean, that was really bad from us from letting the Brits get this part, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, in the end, I'm probably going to try to kill off the Brits, but we'll see what happens. Uh, is there anyone else I really want to take out? I kind of want... I mean, this part of Africa is always nice to get. I kind of want to take out Uruguay just because you can always take them out. And they literally have no military down there. And be nice to have a place in South America just in case. Uh, is there any place I really want to, like, sphere? Maybe Venezuela. Venezuela seems kind of nice. Do we like Venezuela? We have a Colombia. Colombia's got... Oh, uh, yeah, let's do Colombia first. I'm going to do Colombia. I'll probably do pretty well with them. And, oh, there we go. All right, so, you know what? We'll go all out first, and then we'll get rid of the first part of slavery. Oh, that looks so painful. Texas is Mexican. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Oh, one of our generals have died. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter for these guys. Good luck. Don't die too much around here. Man. Gotta love Vicky 2. Gotta love it. I don't know if you could really make Vicky 2 again in 2021, but that'd be really cool if we could. Man, I hope Vicky 3 someday gets announced. Ooh, that'd be so nice. Oh, we get some elections. And I want to keep the Nationalist Party because it's actually faster for us to justify people using jingoism than the Conservative Party's pro military self. I mean, Ireland's just better pay your debts, you pieces of garbage. And charge rallies. Uh, become more liberal. Let's. Fine, Holland. We don't want anything bad to happen to Holland. Very good. Because we can combine it, but we don't really want to because there's only two clipper transports here, so let's not do that. Let's not do that. Not bad. And over here, France. Actually, Colombia's looking not too bad. I want to keep improving relations with the French just because we're kind of a balance point between us, the French, as well as the Prussians, and even the British, too. So just because we have Belgium doesn't mean we're strong at all. So. <laughs> all right, let's move on in and have a good time. Uh, I do like full citizenship, though. I love assimilating, but that's really for nations in South America, North America, Central America, as well as, like, you know, the UK. Well, not UK, no. Australia and New Zealand. Colombia! Hopefully Germany forms, but they don't want to kill us off. I think we might go to war these guys bone next. They're there with a lot of people, though. Wow. Ah, we can get some railroads, finally. I do want to get some more research points, so that'll be good. We could wait and let capitalists build roads. And they kind of want to already, so we'll help fund it. You know what? Doesn't matter. We have to invest everything that we have into them, so that'd be kind of good. Just because we want them as quick as possible to transport resources, right? Protectionism, free trade. Uh, I'll go with protectionism. Something like that. Doesn't really matter. Oh! Alright, people really don't want slavery. Okay, you can have freedom of the womb. Alright, so be it. Ah, <sighs> jeez. What's wrong with slavery? What? What? Oh, what's going on here? Morocco? Oh, well, okay then. Good luck with that. I'll probably send you guys maybe back home? Eh. Can we make any more divisions here? Oh, there goes Dominique, that guy we used earlier, administrative stuff. No, we really can't. Um, I'll send you back here, just because we need at least one group there. And then you guys, you're all artillery. That is probably not ideal. Usars, why not? Dutch, East, Java. Keep building up roads. Oh! Oh, the conservatives got elected. I don't like that. I'm probably going to manually switch them back to nationalists. Uh, is this still going up? It is still going up, which is not good. But consciousness is going down, even though we're getting hurt by infamy just a little bit, so. You just got to give a little bit more time for that. And actually, I have converted, instead of doing bureaucrats at this point, more clergy. Or intel intellectuals, we'll say. And in Holland, intellectuals make 3.2% of the population. Uh, I'm waiting for 4%. Y yeah. Sweden is doing stuff. Okay. Good luck, Sweden. Colombia? Thank you. France. France, France, France. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what else do we want? Carlos, Spain? Maybe? I don't know. America? Austria? Let's do, let's do Austria. And Russia. Nice. Oh, wait. The Brits... Uh oh, the Brits don't like us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we abused them early on, and that's what matters, right? That's what matters. And I don't want to spend any of our own diplo points. So wait until maybe the end of the month. Can we annex them that way? 
No, oh, darn it. Uh, Alright, there we go. Nice! Another annexation! Hurts probably our literacy impact, but hey, it is what it is! Now it is time to go to war with the primitive nation of Sulu. Even though Russia and some of our allies, including Montenegro, are trying to acquire Lebanon from the Ottoman Empire. Oh no, no, just Egypt. Okay, that's kind of cool. But it doesn't matter. Let's go to war with them. Thank you very much. And as we've learned from this, we're not going to call in our allies. I think we'll do okay by ourselves. All right, and we're at war with quite a few people. Sulu, Bone, Kalimantan. It is what it is, Colombia. How about some more Colombia, shall we? Mm, Colombia. Thank you, Colombia. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving, my friend. I want to take that out, take that out. And actually, Brunei's gone. Usually it's called Brunei. Oh, they're in the UK sphere. Okay. Um, I suppose we can be allied for now. It's fine. Okay, we lost 155 versus 1,000. Not bad, not bad. If you'd like to deal with them, please go right ahead. Pasir. And as you can see, we're focusing on idealism as well right now. Please, Jamal. Oh, we're at war with these guys as well, huh? Bone, alright. And Pontiac, which actually I do want to go to war with, but whatever, that's fine. Hope they'll do well here. Please and thank you. Very nice. Van den Bosch is going to do a good job. A great job. The best job. There. Nice. Uh, Chamber of Commerce protests. More liberal. Uh, sure, why not? Muralev. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Keeps aging them down so we can end this war as fast as possible. So we can go take more stuff. I like taking this area here first. Well, first-ish, you know, just because uh, later on this is going to be very valuable to have. All, all these islands are going to be very, very valuable. Later on, secret society. I mean, if you want to read about these, please go right ahead. This happens pretty much every campaign. So, more liberal, more gerrymandering, or more reactionary. Uh, give it reactionaries later on. Let's get become more liberal. Actually, what does the liberal party even stand for? Let's see. The liberal party likes laws of fair and free trade. Pluralism, limited citizenship, which is not bad. But they're anti-military, so we don't like liberals right now. Eventually, maybe a narco liberals. Maybe those guys. But we'll see. We'll see. We have a little bit more infamy as well. Let's see the Ionian Islands. All right. Not much is really going on. I mean, we killed off quite a few of them. I wish there was a casualty uh, tracker in this game. Are we losing people? That's not good. Oh, total population is 17 million. Uh, population wise, I mean, that's not bad, but there's not a lot of Dutch people here compared to the Fl Flemish and Javans. Very odd. That's okay. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little army. That's actually pretty darn good. I don't suspect that we'll have too many issues here, but just go and hang on down in Brussels. You never know about them uh, fellas down there. And we can keep making more guys. We can get rid of some of this infantry just because, and horses, just because, uh, well, we'll have target, the infantry and horses are target practice. So I don't mind making non-cord divisions or, you know, non-accepted -cu cultures, accepted cultures, not accepted culture divisions being infantry and horses because they die so fast. Just saying. Just saying. Flemish. They're not accepted yet, so we'll do that one as well. And Dutch artillery. So, I usually like using cord cultures or accepted cultures. Artillery. You know, maybe tanks. Everyone else becomes infantry. Just because. Doesn't matter what country we're playing as. Doesn't really matter. Actually, we can send you guys over here to help out as well. That's not good, but whatever. As long as we get these two states, that's the most important thing. And being in the mountains really sucks, so... Uh, is this jungle? You get two defense, so... Uh, they're not going to attack us, that sucks. It's fine, whatever. Who's that? Oh, oh, uh, oh, Brunei's still here. They lost that. Okay, that's fine. And actually for Sulu? Hmm. Oh, did you... Oh. Bones leading it, okay. Well, that's alright. We got a little bit of money. Keep buying more roads, or funding for more roads. The watch on Amsterdam? Uh, let's see, fast and true starts the guard in Amsterdam. At least for a local poet is believe a poetical pamphlet to cry in the state of our nation. Its political backwardness and oppression has inflamed feeling in one of our states. All around the Netherlands, cries for national unity can be heard as liberals take to the streets protesting the old order, calling for national unification with the cultural brethren in other countries, and a liberalization of our political system. We should consider dispatching more troops to the provinces where liberal agitation is present. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Good, good. And how about deal is done very soon? And maybe get more roads? Uh, probably want some medicine. Medicine's usually pretty good to get as well. But we have eight. 
Oh, that's fine. If you let it go on by day, you can store up to a year's worth of research points. So that's pretty good as well. Bone, can we do anything here yet? Not yet. That's fine. Uh, let's see. France, Colombia. We love Colombia. Egypt might not be bad. Kind of just manually take them out though. So we'll see about them. Uh, who, great powers. Ottomans are still above us. Not, not that by much though. We could also get some prestige tax as well. It could be pretty darn good. Imperial Japan might not be bad. Partially westernized nation, huh? All right. Anyone here that we really care about? Mexico, maybe? I guess we could court Mexico. Why not? Or severely, I should really say. All right, so we got that. I want to get more education, but I do want to get some medicine. Supply limit would be very, very helpful. So let's grab that and it helps us with population growth. Because my goodness, we're going to need a lot of population growth. We're going to need to make all the babies. Liberals uh, Student Association. Fine, so be it. You'll never have power, but that's okay. All right, so here, anyways, Austria, right? Austria, thank you. We just want to be nice with everybody. Prussia, do you still like us? Yeah, we still like the Prussians. Good, good, good. Are we getting attacked anywhere here? No. Liberal agitation spreads. Well, it is what it is. Oh! Oh, what do people care about? Gerrymandering. Harassment. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, voting franchise. Two based on state. Based on population, that's fine. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I don't really care. Cool. Just gotta wait for one of these to finish. Oh, that's not good. Are they attacking us? Not yet. Crush them? Uh, National Square in Turanai. Where is that? Turanai. Oh. Turanai is right here. Oh, they're a little Picard, a little Flemish, a little Walloon. Crush them. National Square make promises of reforms. Crush them. Nope. The dreams of an in independent Walloon of Wallonia or Belgium must be crushed. Violently. Oh, where were these guys too now? No, we're not. Uh, send in the troops, because you can. Infamy, liberal agitation. Militancy, liberal agitation. Not very good. Not very good. Where did you guys go? Huh. Alright. And they're right there. Righty. Um, well, nice. Well, we got the capital, so. There we go. There we go. We got it. We're looking a little bit nicer. We got the money. We got the funds going to make this place pretty awesome. And can we make any divisions? No, we cannot. But we'll do maybe take out one more group here in this episode. Well, my friends, it's not a Vicky 2 campaign unless you attack Vietnam, right? So, let's go see what we can do. Uh, do we want Annam or Kokon China? So, really, what I really want would be uh, Saigon. So, Kokon China sounds pretty good. A quarter million population in Saigon alone. Now, that's pretty nice. I hope we can do well. Uh, obviously, we're not going to call on our allies or anything like that just because it'd be a little bit too crazy. But that's okay. He's sending 6,000 uh, Dutch men. Well, I don't know if they're really Dutch. Uh, let's see. I don't know where uh, Can we see where they're from? From Amsterdam? Okay, so they actually are Dutch. Okay. Really tall Dutch guys coming on over from Tan, uh, Tanjung Puri. Very good, very good. And let's go up to Ha Tien. I don't speak Vietnamese. I apologize. It's just... I don't know a lot of Vietnamese, so... Secret Society, not bad. What do they, th they think? Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Oh, and they're calling in their allies. That might not be good. We got somebody, though. Fiery Sermon in Grongingen? He sounds like a reasonable man. Well, we'll see. Mexico? Ah, Mexico. Mexican-Dutch relations have never been stronger. Very historical. Are they going to move in? No, we're just going to slowly siege them out, hopefully. I might actually go ahead and send in another group here. Three is good. Three is good as well down here. We want to take all, all this territory eventually. Um, You know what? I'm actually going to come down here. Give me two things of artillery. I think that'd be pretty useful. Oh! We killed off a ship. Look at that. You know what? Since the ship's here, give it until the beginning of the next month so we can get some repairs done. Very nice. Very, very nice. And let's head on in. Oh, Java. And also, I did start um, 
influencing our little puppet states here, so. I'm not sure we need to do that, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. There we go. Oh, baby boy, that is not ideal. That's a lot of dudes. Uh, prestige, I'll take this prestige. Oh, come on, blow them up, use those cannons. Oh, the Vietnamese thought they had us. They thought they had us, but they did not expect the cannons to come back and bite them in the butt. Come on, come on, we've got them. Oh, we've got off 18,000 of them. Come on, is that enough? Oh, it's not enough. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, that's definitely not enough. Uh, in the meantime, let's go and just combine them into one group. That's probably good enough to do for now. Supplies not looking so good. Please get some more morale. For the love of God, we're going to need more morale. We might actually do more military tech after this. Vietnam will definitely give us a run for our money, so. I see Siak, do you that yet? No, you do not. Norway looking fabulous. Um, Jambi, Jambi, Java, yes, please. Let's get this done as fast as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay back, son. You stay back. Siak? Thank you, thank you. Come on. Get some medicine done as well. We shall consider it good. Done. We definitely need to throw more. Hello. Well, I guess we can call him in technically, so we might as well, right? T door. Not gonna do very much for us, but that's all right. Oh, we're not allied with them. Mexico. We're not allied with them. I, I definitely don't want to ally with Mexico because I'm definitely not gonna help them out. Jambi, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Colombia. There you go. Of course they will accept. Why would they? And Austria. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so if that's the case, I'm going to send some more guys down here too. Ah, supply level is better. That's very good. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab interchangeable parts. No, we'll wait for that. Uh, let's grab some of that maybe. Plans. Which one's the best one in here? I forget. Maybe more digging cap. That actually would be good for defense probably, actually. So let's go with that one. Nope. Armistice. Sir. Oh yeah, bone surrender, that, that's usually pretty good for us. Supplies are probably still pretty bad, but they're not as bad as they used to be, which is good. Let me just throw more artillery in here, hopefully. Yeah, we definitely need it to bounce things out a little bit more. And we will send you guys here. And I did notice this, so... Colonial stuff. Slightly more consciousness. Liberal agitation spreads, it is what it is. Head on in. Kill them all off. Well, there goes those Vietnamese horses. Goodbye. Give me another month. Get, let them get some more supplies, restock, we got some more shared prestige, that's pretty good. We are actually 7th in the world in terms of prestige, which is very nice. And what do people want? They want wealth voting. No. I'm not going to get rid of slavery either, yet. First pass the post. Um, okay. Proportional representation, because we can. And we have taken the state. Nice. Head on in. We definitely need some engineers and stuff. And actually, Volden Bosch is not bad on attack or defense, so. Ooh, we, I don't think we can attack and do that well. Ooh, they have horses. They don't have any cannons, though, which is super, super important. Slow them down, maybe. Oh, good. I do want to get to Saigon. How... They'll be on the 28th, huh? Can we get there faster? No, we cannot. Let them come back. Let them come back. Now that we actually siege it down pretty darn quickly, that's actually was really, really nice. Oh, this is a big risk. Big risk, big reward. Come on. Oh, it's a bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, we're killing thousands of them, though. Oh, maybe not a bad idea. Oh, we got them. Nice. We lost 9,000. Initially, that was really bad for us. But after looking at that... Ooh, don't follow him. Don't follow me yet. Don't follow me yet. Uh, let's do this one first. That's fine. And who can we do? Java. Come on, guys. Come on, Vietnam. You gotta give it up. This might have been too big for us to do initially. I don't think we can piece them out, can we? No. Well, let's kind of hang out first. A uh, Ludite mob. The smog from the factories hang low against the blood and red of the charcoal sky. Far away in the depths of the city and the de deepest bowels of the industrial machine, the cries and shouts of a forming mob can be heard echoing against the backdrop of rain. Uh, drain pipes and smokestacks. Infuriated over poor working conditions, clamoring for a return to a lost pastoral dream, remembered. Ludites take to the siege of Netherlands, sending the troops. Hinted policy changes. Oh, that's gonna piss people off. Ooh, Dutch craftsmen. I don't want to hurt our population, so hinted policy changes. That's good enough for now. Chartered Society, a local chapter of the Chartered Society, calling for a broadening of voting franchise and end to landed voting vices. Open in the Netherlands. Oh, great. Suppress them. 
Uh, fine, whatever. Just do that for now. Uh, how many transports do we have here? I actually sent these guys from... Cur Surasau? Curacao? Something like that? I kind of want to send some guys over there just in case. I guess i get rid of that for now. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Alright, so you guys, we have four transports. We don't have much here. And you guys are part of Jacobin Rebels, so you're going to go bye-bye first. So one, two, three, four. There you go. Get on the boat. And good luck in Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Everyone hand out down there first. That's fine. And we have a Jambi next. Jambi, Jambi, Jambi. Where are you? Jambi. I guess technically we could control our allies' divisions. Go in. They might be slightly bigger, but their morale is not very good. Slaughter as many as you can if possible. Then again, our morale is not looking very good either, so. Their agitation is nice. Strategic mobility for more defense. We got some more of them dead. Nice. Tedor and Mexico. Mexico. Send in the troops? Sure, why not? Wow, that's a lot of consciousness. Alright, they're coming back. I'm just gonna kill them every single time. Declare one Zosa. Alright, so they're all dead. We literally just killed all of them off, which is nice. Have the ships arrived yet? No, they have not. That is fine. We're still making a lot of money. Actually, you know what? Let's raise our military spending a little bit more. Oh, we also became conservative too, so. We can probably lower that as well by a little bit. 40. There you go. Maybe lower taxes. Just a smidgen, maybe. And what do people want? I don't want to have a civil war rebels rise up, so go ahead. That's fine. Whatever. I think I'm going to wait. I don't think it's worth attacking yet. We need more divisions first. Charter Society. Oh, great. Fine. I, I really want to wait for the next army to come up here. Even yeah, though we can command our own other soldiers' troops, that would be good as well. Siak, Siak. I'm sorry this is taking a while. It just is what normally happens. Especially with uh, spheres and such, so. Actually, can't you just go and command your troops as well? No, we gotta wait. Alright, where are the next troops we can take? Oh, well, maybe down here. Java. That's fine. We'll take them. Actually, we got 6,000 more right here. It's only artillery, but we'll take it still. Oh, Columbia arrived. Look at that. Oh, we're all kind of okay for now, Switzerland. Sounds like a reasonable man. Very nice, very nice. Come on in, guys. Fiery sermon. Very nice. Come on in, Colombian soldiers. Blood revolutionaries, that's fine. Move on up as well. Where are they going? Tien? Nope. And do we have those extra 4,000 soldiers? Because once we get those extra 4,000 soldiers, we should probably be able to do this pretty darn nicely. Head on in, guys. Austria. And don't forget France. Find their armies and kill them all off. Nice. Uh, sure, you can move on in. I don't really care. Oh, less army attrition. More hospitals. Good. Siege is down first. Siege that place down as well. Liberal agitation spreads. Send in the troops. Ah, bone free trade. Okay, one of our traders was turned away from bone some time ago. Apparently, he was discovered by local customs officials trying to smuggle up opium. Despite the Sulevanesian ban on opium imports, a liberal politician in our lower house has addressed the matter. The right to f trade freely and openly across the seas and on the land is one of the most unalienable rights of mankind. Our rights have been denied in bone, and I, for one, wonder how long the government will stand for the slights at the hand of these uncivilized heathens. Free trade is fair trade. Sure, why not? We got that one. That's good. It doesn't help us that much, honestly, but whatever. Not Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh! And 
we got it. Nice. Too bad I didn't send my other guys in here, but it is what it is. Um, I'm actually gonna keep you guys here as well. Uh, but I'll do this off stuff off screen. If you enjoyed the video though, do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Please uh, leave in some in the comment section. Recommend some nations we should take out, some areas of the world we should take out as well. Probably not Europe anytime soon, just because we're only seventh greatest power in the world. And thank you much, thank you very much for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.